Hello everyone, we're playing Enchanted Folk and the School of Wizardry. I'm really excited to play this. I haven't played this in literally years. So let's get into it. Let's begin with the enrollment procedure. Well, may I ask your name? Yes, you may. My name is Plush Sweet. Thank you. Plushy, is it? That's a fine name. Okay, and in what month were you born? I was born in. <laughs> Here we go, October. What is the month? The 10th. On what day? The 18th. If you must know. Oh ho, you're the calm <laughs> and polite type. That's exactly what I'd expect from someone born under the sign of the staff. Really? Alright then, next, you need to call you need to tell me your gender. If I had to choose, I'd say you were this sort of kid. Well, oh my god, I remember this game so much. Let me pick. So you want to choose? Very well, go right ahead. Okay, let's choose my hair. I'm thinking maybe, probably the, the bunchies. Mm, actually, maybe the, the ponytail? It's a bit of a side pony, but it's like the best thing out of a bad punch. I think maybe the ponytail, and then I kind of want to go for pink. Uh, I don't know, pink? What do you think, guys? Maybe pink? I th I'm pretty sure you can change it later on. I'm feeling pink for some reason. And the face... Oh, I look kind of worried, but that's kind of cute. <laughs> that's cute too. Maybe this one? Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, cool. Last but not least, which school would you like to go to? Aha, we get to name the school. Now guys, all those years ago when I first played the school, I named it Twilight. Not after the film, because I'm pretty sure the film wasn't the films weren't out back then. But I named it Twilight because I thought I found it really pretty and magical. And I kinda wanna call it Twilight again. But I know people are gonna think of the film, I don't want that. So what do I call it now? Okay, I'm gonna call it Luna Light, and I don't care how it sounds. And I guess. Oh, can I do a space? <gasps> oh, good. I think it's nice because I love the moon and like like stars and everything, and it's like magical, so it goes with the theme of the school. But also, t oh no, I guess it should be one word if I'm because I was gonna say like I'm tying it in with the old name of my my school from like all those years ago when I first played this game. And I was thinking if I'm tying it in, then maybe it should be one word. Okay, I think I like it as one word together maybe more. Okay. So Luna Light Magical School, guys. Well, it's all settled then. That's where you will be going from now on. That's it for the questions. Did you make any mistakes? Oh, that's a lie. Uh, no, I think... 18 turns... Uh, I think I'm good. I think I am good. Alright. 
You are now enrolled at the magic school. Proceed through that gateway. Do your best. I can see you have what it takes to become a truly great wizard. Guys, I'm so excited to play this. Alright, you're here. I've been waiting. You're Plushy, who's starting here at Luna Light Magic School, right? I'm Reginald. I'm in charge of this dorm. You need to go to the school and introduce yourself there, but first let me show you your room. Follow me and make it snappy. Yes, sir, Pumpkin, sir. As of today, this is your room. Just remember that your room is the one with the green door. You can put whatever furniture and stuff in here you like. Whatever makes it comfortable for you, got it? Mm -hmm. This is a welcome gift from me. He's like, his trash. You still got a little time, why don't you take a look around the dorms in the meantime? I'll be waiting at the entrance, so come and find me when you're ready to head to the school. I'll show you the way. I just noticed the shoes. Oh my god, guys, we're here. We're finally playing. Oh my god. Guys, it's bringing back so many memories. I used to love this game. Like, I played it all the time. I'm pretty sure the first thing you do, or like the first thing you make, is a homunculus. And I love him. He's so cute. He's a little baby. He follows you around. And there's like scary, there's like spirits and like weird ghosty things. And there's like dead, like bones and stuff. Oh. I think we're gonna have a good time. Okay, let's check our room. Oh my god, I remember this. <gasps> Can we knock on people's door? Oh, glass can't be opened. I don't know why he told me to look around first when like I can't go in any rooms. Let's go back down. Oh, you're here. Have you already seen enough of the dorms? Yeah. All right then, I'll take you to school. So follow me. Well, this is it. Luna Light Magic School, which you'll be attending from now on. It will be your home away from home. And it's so beautiful. Principal Sol is waiting inside, so hurry up. Good luck. Ooh. Hey, Plush, when you're done saying your hellos, come see me, okay? I'll be dropping by at the bank, and then go back to the dorm. Okay. So I'll see you at the dorm, I guess. <laughs> Pleasure, I would like to offer you the warmest of welcomes. I'm the principal of the magic school here in Luna Light. Now then, please say a few words of greeting to our students. Oh my god, we get to see them again, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I remember. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to our new student, Plushy. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I want everyone to get along nicely. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. Plush here is a wand and a hat to show that you are one of our students. Poof. Ooh. I'm a wizard. 
Now, please find yourself a seat. Any available one will do. There's literally only one seat available. All right, now I'll provide a brief explanation on how to take a class. Start by talking to the teacher in front of the classroom. If you would like to change the time a class starts, ask Mr. Oakley over in the staff room. Oh, and about your classes, at first I will personally teach you the basics. The use of tools is particularly important, so I will be teaching the very first class. Make sure you do not miss that one. If there is anything you don't understand, you should take the proper class. Well, plus you good luck and study hard. Of course I will, I was so good at this game back, back in the day. Why well, is it like terrifying and dark in here now? Hi everyone! What's wrong? You look dog tired. Is hard luck hounding you? I feel that you can't say anything bad while smiling. Um, um, basically, if you're smiling, people don't get the impression you're saying something mean. Um, um, it's definitely true for me. Whenever I'm talking to someone, I smile. Oh, it's just because I'm happy, though. This person looks really terrifying. Juke, it's snowing plushy. Did you know that each snowflake is unique? No two are alike. It's like a little vampire. Come to think of it, you're kind of like a flake yourself. By the way, I saw Jessica having fun playing in the classroom. I was in the middle of an experiment, so I couldn't ask. But really, I wanted to play with Jessica. Oh, should have just asked. God, this, I'm, I'm sorry, but like this brings back so many memories. Ah, if it isn't plushy. So, which class would you like to take? I would like to take staffs, please. In this class, we are going to learn about the staff. Staffs and wands. There are many different types of tools that your staff can be used as. You can change it into a fishing pole to do some fishing, an insect net to catch bugs, a shovel to dig up the ground, or a watering can to water trees and flowers. Well, I will now explain how to transform your staff. There is a hand icon on the top right of the lower screen. Touch this area with the stylus or press the R button to change the icon that appears there here. One after another, you can then bring up different icons which match what is on the blackboard. Each of these icons goes together with a tool that is written on the blackboard. Please try this for yourself when the lesson is over. It's now time for a question. Is there anyone who's confident that they can give the right answer? I will put my hand up. Young plushie, how about you? Well, you can change your staff into many different things, but it cannot be transformed into one of the following items. Which one is it? Um, it cannot be changed into a broom, uh, principal. Oh, that's correct. A staff could not be changed into a broom. Everyone, please remember that. Wow. Cool. Thanks, guys. From now on, I'm sure you will use these tools in many different ways. Be sure to handle them with care, just like you would with your staff. Well, that should just be about... That should just wrap up... Cool. Excellent. <laughs> I was talking terrifying again. Hello, what's your name? You're Jessica. Uh -huh. Hello, what's up? Hang on, I've got to concentrate right now. I hear that boys like skirts. Skirts look cute when they flutter in the breeze. Maybe girls shouldn't wear trousers then? Ah, uh, yeah. I guess it's okay if you can find trousers that flutter though, right? <laughs> that was weird what you just said. How do I... Oh look at that, that's weird. What am I doing? Ah. Oh. Oh my god, I can switch screens! That's so cool! Why would I want to do that? 
That's pretty cool. Huh. And then I can do this to get someone's attention, I guess. Okay, let's talk to him. I think we can take the other class. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, shops. In this class, we're going to talk about how you can use the shops in town. There are many different kinds of shops in town. When you go there, you can do many things such as buying or selling items. As much as time allows, be sure to go around to as many shops as you can. There is one key point that you need to remember, a shop will only open at set times. If you visit when it's closed, you won't be able to go inside. And finally, I would like to explain how to sell things at the shop. Each type of item can only be sold at a particular store. For example, they will only buy things like jewels, flowers and mushrooms at the Emporium. Catsith will purchase furniture and clothes whenever he comes to town. Now, to actually sell something, first select the item from your item window and then move it inside the box where it can be sold, just as is shown on the blackboard. It's now time for a question. Is there anyone who's confident that can give the right answer? Me, me, me! Well, which of the following is true about shops? Close at certain times, sir. That's correct. Shops definitely aren't open all the time. You really were listening, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, I was. Now, the opening times for each shop may be different, so please look out for that. And while you're, pro while you're probably visit many different shops, always be sure to give a proper greeting. Well, that should just about wrap up today's lesson. Woohoo! Okay, good, so we got those out the way now. Oh, there's a new person! Rodney. Hmm, a new face I see. On the other hand, I'm Rodney, and you are someone who knows how to turn a profit? That's like, what do you want, Jessica? Gotta keep this quick, I haven't got time to dawdle right now. So what's the problem? Some kids love reading, right? So I thought I'd try it myself, but I picked a really hard book. It put me right to sleep. The next thing I knew, class had already started. I guess I'm not cut out to be a bookworm. Can I wave to someone? Yes, I can. Oh yeah, they're like, did you call for me? How cute. What's that, you want something from me? Ah, oh, yeah. Tell me something. I have nothing interesting to talk about right now. Hi! I forgot they could do this. I love this. Let's talk. I have no story. Oh. I'll go walk right through that chair. Alright then, thank you. Oh. You're literally in my way though. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. I want to get into this and make spells and stuff. I remember like you could actually cast spells and you have to remember all the different incantations and what each of them mean and cast the love spell. <gasps> no, I shouldn't I shouldn't do that. Oh my god, I'm gonna cast a love spell. No, I'm not. <laughs> do you have anything else for me? Oh, he does. Okay, I might as well do this one. Learning all the basics today. In this class, we are going to discuss magic linguistics. Magic linguistics are important words that you use when casting staff magic and incantations. They also allow you to express your feelings to other people. You can learn a lot about them in Mr. Vlad. Oh yeah, I remember him, Mr. Vlad's classes. Should be so be sure to pay close attention during his lessons too. As shown on the board, board, <laughs> and as shown on the board, magic linguistics are divided into categories, each of which has its own page. First, this is basic. Common linguistics are shown here on just one page. 
next this is who this page lists linguistics which stand for everyone you know and meet and this is do a page whose linguistics are mostly related to things you can do what is the page that shows linguistics for your tools and items where features linguistics pointing to places and directions and finally, one contains linguistics that measure hours, days, and weeks, etc. It's now time for a question. Yes, I would like to answer it. Well, while there are many categories of magic linguistics, which of these does school belong to? It belongs to where, sir? That's correct. <laughs> it was a funny hard question. <laughs> you will need magic linguistics in all sorts of situations, so study them carefully. Yeah, I used to be like really good at casting spells. I was really good at remembering them. I hope I can be that good again. And that's the end of this lesson.